Are you still using these risky apps? Hey everyone! After my recent video on apps you should never install on your computer, the comments section exploded. One question kept popping up. What are the best alternatives? Well, you asked and I'm delivering. In this video, I'm sharing powerful alternatives to those problematic apps I warned you about. Here's the deal. Many of those apps, like Zoom, come with serious privacy concerns. Others, like Norton, are outright resource hogs that slow your system to a crawl. Even tools like Adobe Reader have become a haven for exploits and high-severity vulnerabilities. The solutions I'm about to show you are more privacy-friendly and trustworthy. They are feature-packed and mostly free and open source, meaning you get transparency and performance. And if you miss my first video, don't worry. I've linked it in the description. Watch it to understand why I recommend avoiding these apps in the first place. Ready? Let's talk alternatives. First up, Zoom. Now, I get it. If your organization mandates Zoom, you're stuck with it. But if you're lucky enough to choose your own tool, let me introduce you to Jitsi Meet. Here's why Jitsi Meet stands out. It's an open source platform, which means its code is transparent and constantly reviewed by the global community. Unlike Zoom, which has faced scrutiny over encryption flaws and privacy breaches, Jitsi Meet ensures secure communication using end-to-end -end encryption for one-on-one -on -one calls and DTL SSRP protocols for group calls. It's powered by WebRTC technology, which enables real-time voice and video directly in your browser. No downloads required. It even supports self-hosting, giving you complete control over your data if privacy is your top priority. And yes, Jitsi Meet doesn't skimp on features. It offers interactive tools like hand raising, polls, and live streaming integration, customizable virtual backgrounds for polished meetings, seamless mobile apps for communication on the go. Best of all, it doesn't collect or sell your data, a stark contrast to Zoom's past controversies. If you're serious about privacy and functionality, you should easily get why Jitsi Meet makes sense. This one is tough to beat. Adobe Reader is packed with features. Annotation, editing, converting, merging, splitting, compressing, you name it. Most alternatives fall short. And finding a free or open source option that truly compares felt impossible. But I found one and you're going to love it. It's called PDF Gear. PDF Gear is a versatile app available for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, and it rivals Adobe Reader feature for feature. Without the hefty subscription that Acrobat is known for, you still get to edit PDFs like a pro, adjust text, images, and layouts with ease, convert files between PDFs in Word, Excel, or PowerPoint, merge, split, and compress PDFs in seconds, as well as add digital signatures, and even password protect your documents. In addition to all these, PDF Gear uses optical character recognition to make scanned documents searchable and editable, a feature you'd expect to pay for elsewhere. And now, here is the best part. It is completely free. So yes, you can finally ditch that Adobe subscription and keep your wallet happy. You may click on the card at the top corner to see my full review of this PDF editor. If you know any PDF editor that may be better than PDF Gear, I will really love to review it, so drop the name in the comments. Pirated software is the elephant in the room. The phrase, if they wanted us to pay, they'd make it affordable, is something many have heard. But here's the reality check. Using cracked software today could mean a cracked bank account tomorrow. As an expert in this field, my advice is simple. Stay clear of pirated software. It may seem like an easy shortcut, but the risks are just not worth it. But here's the good news. For almost every mainstream service or app, there's a free open source alternative that does the job just as well, if not better. For instance, instead of Microsoft Office, why not try LibreOffice, a robust and open source suite that handles everything from word processing to spreadsheets. If you rely on Airtable, NoCodeDB offers a fantastic, self-hosted solution for database management. For those using Firebase, check out Convex, AppWrite, Superbase, or Pocketbase. All are incredible open-source alternatives. 
For video editing, do you want to work with vector graphics? Swap Adobe Illustrator for Inkscape or Krita. And for motion graphics, instead of Adobe After Effects, turn to Blender. It's not just for 3D modeling anymore. And trust me, there are plenty more where that came from. If you know of any other killer open source alternatives to commonly pirated apps or services, drop them in the comments. I will make a full video to highlight all these amazing tools that won't cost you a dime and won't put your security at risk. Next up we have LastPass. Let's be honest, LastPass used to be a top tier password manager, but after being hacked repeatedly, it's no longer a viable choice for anyone serious about security. Fortunately, there's a far better alternative, Bitwarden. Bitwarden is open source which means its code is transparent and can be independently audited. A level of trust you simply don't get with LastPass. Switching to Bitwarden doesn't mean sacrificing features. You'll still enjoy secure password sharing for sensitive accounts, password health reports to keep your credentials strong, two-factor authentication integration for extra security, self-hosting options if you want full control over your data, Seamless cross-platform access for all your devices. And here's where Bitwarden shines. Even its free plan comes packed with features like zero-knowledge encryption, ensuring only you can access your data, support for unlimited devices, encrypted exports for safe backups. If you decide to upgrade, the paid plan starts at just $1 per month, a fraction of LastPass's $3 per month. So... Whether you stick with a free version or opt for the premium plan, Bitwarden is a secure, affordable, and trustworthy replacement for LastPass. Lastly, let's talk antivirus software. In my earlier video, I mentioned a few antivirus programs you should absolutely avoid, like Norton, McAfee, and other bloated antivirus suites. Here's the ironic twist. Some of these programs act more like malware than the malware they're supposed to protect you from. So, what are the best alternatives? Let me break it down for you. ESET Security is my go-to recommendation. It's lightweight, efficient, and offers exceptional malware detection without slowing down your system. Kaspersky is another top-tier choice, provided you're comfortable navigating the political debate surrounding its Russian origins. From a purely technical standpoint, it's a powerhouse in malware protection. Both of these options strike the perfect balance between performance, resource usage, and proactive protection, qualities you should demand from any antivirus software. For more details, I've put together an entire video on my top antivirus picks and why they stand out. It's worth checking out if you're serious about keeping your system secure without compromising on performance. Remember, a great antivirus shouldn't feel like a burden on your computer, it should quietly do its job in the background, keeping you safe while letting your system run smoothly. That's exactly what you get with ESET Security and Kaspersky. But don't forget that antivirus is a lock on your door, but hackers can still break the window. Good practices will probably protect you better than an antivirus. And that's a wrap. If you know of any great alternatives to the tools I've mentioned today, drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear your recommendations. Don't forget to like this video and share it with anyone who might find it useful. Your support helps the channel grow and keeps videos like this coming your way. Thanks for watching and until the next video, stay safe and take care.